Interesting. Everything looks good except for a VHS camera that I cannot find. Who cares? We haven't used those in over a decade. Sales are dry and ratings are terrible. Use your ads, that's all I can get. Thanks, Titus. Scott, more. Start in 10 seconds. Ready, Jack? Locked in. It's all right if you don't. I'm not afraid of you running away, honey. I get the Quiet beer on set. Stand you Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one. Live from Big Sky Country, this is News Channel 15, KAJM Morning News at 6. Good morning, Glenn Dive. I'm Dylan Scott. And I'm Jack Moore. It's another beautiful day in Big Sky Country. It really is, Jack. It really is. Baby, break down. Go ahead, give it to me. Break down, it's all right. All right, that's a break. You guys have three minutes. What? Okay, okay, just get ready. We're sending it out to you. Scott, Moore, get ready to send it to Corey. We have breaking news. Three, two, one. We have breaking news, Dylan. Let's send it live to Corey Pittman. I'm here on the scene of a brutal murder of an unidentified woman that took place last night on 5th and Main. With me now is Sheriff Wilkins for more insight on the event. We have identified the victim, though we have decided not to disclose their identity. The murderer is still on the loose, so if you see anything, please contact the Sheriff's Office. Thank you, Sheriff. This is the first murder in Glendive in over 30 years. Sheriff Wilkins says the brutality of it is sickening. We'll know more as the story develops. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Corey. We'll keep you updated, so make sure to stay tuned for any breaks in the story. Remember to lock your doors and look after your loved ones. If you see something, say something. This is crazy. Crazy good luck. This could finally be my big break. I don't know, man. This is someone else's life. Could you relax? There's nothing we can do about it now. What I can do is worry about the future of my career. If you say so. I guess I just don't really understand, Titus. It's like I've told you 1,000 times, we can't sell ads. You know, that's how we make our money, right? Don't patronize me. Did you see the story today? People will eat this up. I'm telling you, they will kill for this. You better hope so. You're not the only one that needs this money. Titus keeps saying how the station's gonna go under if ratings stay the same. Titus is an idiot. Why'd Jimmy ever hire him anyway? Ever since Jimmy, about the station, things have been rough. Titus is the only guy we can get to work with us. That checks out. Luckily, I don't have to deal with him much more. Oh yeah, how much time we got left? I got about four days, then I'm off to California. Well, you'll definitely be missed. Appreciate it. Jesus, Sheriff. Did you get any sleep last night? What do you reckon about this case? I have no idea. Strangulation, but right on the street? It don't make no sense. We're missing something. I just, uh, just don't know what it is. Glendot Sheriff's Office. One moment, please. Hello? Hey, Sheriff. It's me, Corey. You know, the guy that interviewed you. Yeah, yeah. If I can help you. I found something you might want to see. It's, it's a body. I found it just a few blocks from the studio this morning. Don't go anywhere. Let's go.
So, kind of just like this, Pittman? Yeah. Caught my eye on my way to the studio this morning. That'll be all. Move along now. So what do you think, Sheriff? If he's at the first body on this report we were, I'm just not buying it. I mean, an up-and-coming report is everything again from this, not to mention both murders within the walking distance of the studio. I get what you're saying, but what about this? All right, got a lot to do today. There's been a second murder, and I want to be on top of that. Hey, Sheriff, what brings you in? Well, I thought I'd just come in and inquire about the murder we found this morning. Wouldn't mind if we asked your staff some questions. Not at all. Just be quick. A lot of people interested in this story. Good for business. So, it's my understanding that you own this here station. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Mine since last year. Yeah, he's been the owner ever since I got here. Nice guy, but doesn't really know much about running the news station. I mean, he's not that bad. Sure, there's been some kinks here and there, but we make it work. Where would you have found yourself last night when the murder was committed? Um, I was just at home. I usually spend my free time researching for more news stories. The wife made dinner last night. You can ask her. Did you know the victim? I mean, I know just about everybody in this town, but not personally, no. And you said you think you were at home. Yeah, when I'm off the clock, uh, home is usually where I'm at. Look, I don't know anything about these murders, okay? I'm not a killer, I swear. I've done some bad stuff in my time, but that's not me. Look, we want to believe you. But how do you explain this? That, that's my business card. Anybody can have that. Thought you didn't know. It's not me. I'm not the killer. I swear. Please, ask anybody. I swear. Titus Kane, you're under arrest for reasonable suspicion of murder. A further investigation will be held. What? No! This is a violation of my rights. You can't do this to me. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you have any idea what that means? Hey, listen. Be a day two to the judge will get here, all right? You stand with us till then. I will be lawyering up for this. You gotta find me a new salesman. Quick. Quick, we can go live and get this news out while it's still fresh. Start prepping, we start in 15. Breaking news. KAJM's very own Titus Kane is under arrest in connection with the recent murders. Kane has been our ad salesman for the past year. Everyone at KAJM, including ourselves, are shocked by the turn of events. You know, we don't have any confirmation yet that it was actually him, but the apparent evidence doesn't look too good. I didn't think he had it in him. Sheriff Wilkins says that the investigation is still ongoing, but more information is to follow. Remember, Glendive, stay safe, stay alert, and if you see something, say something. Come in. Get all my things packed up. <sighs> Ready to head out, boss. Damn, has it been two weeks already? You're gonna be missed. You've been very valuable to the studio. Sure as hell ain't easy, but boy do I love it. Well, I'll see you around. Don't be a stranger. Get that script written yet, Scott? Yeah, I'm finishing it right now. <clears throat> you already took my damn salesman. What could this be about? Nobody leaves or enters this building until I say so. Now hold on, Sheriff. Mind letting us in on what's going on? Where's Pittman? He hasn't come in yet, which is odd, because he's anchors for the first time today. There's been a third murder. Found this tape at the crime scene last night. Unlabeled. 
came to you guys because uh, we didn't know any other place in the county had a VHS player anymore. Then I thought, hell with the tape, who even has a camera to record this stuff? I knew it. What do you mean you knew it? Well, we've been missing a VHS camera for a couple weeks now. And who has access to that? Well, me, Jimmy, Seth, and Corey. Where'd you say Pittman was? Like I said, I don't know. I've been watching all of you very closely. I knew that any VHS tape that was found would be taken back here to you. I killed these people in cold blood, and I've been watching your reactions, your enthusiastic responses to the life sounded in your very own community. You're so blindsided to the truth that all it takes is a business card in a coat pocket to find someone to blame. These people have families and friends, and the only thing you see is a news headline. That next big thing to shoot you straight to the top. It's disappointing how far people will go in a state of desperation. I expected more from such a small town. Have you no empathy for your own people? Then, again, this is what today's media is, isn't it? Something new, something fresh, it's essential in order to stay relevant, especially in the eyes of a failing news studio. Where is your morality? <laughs> Need an APB on Corey Pittman now. Yeah? Hey Bryce. Wrong Lang here. I'll just check this heat. We need to be arriving in Prescott. Excited to finally meet our new anchor. Oh, I was just a little late getting on the road. I'll be in tonight, though. Can't wait to start my new career in Maine. Sounds great. See you tonight. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Jones. Can't wait. I'll see you when I get there. <laughs> Nothing ever happened to Glenn Dive.